Hi, welcome to Chemical Technologies YouTube channel. And in this video, we'll be seeing how to do chroma key inside the edit page of DaVinci Resolve 17. Before DaVinci Resolve 17, the 16 and 15 version, the chroma keying was possible with the fusion page and with the color page round tripping to the edit page. So the chroma keying was possible with these two pages but with the Resolve 17, there is a new filter or you can say as an OFX filter which is available right inside the edit page and the cut page where you can do your advanced chroma keying without jumping to the fusion or the color page. So uh, we have the screen here and you can see we are going to just going to uh, recreate this inside the edit page. I'm just going to remove these two uh, clips here and I'll just go to my pin number one. So this is our video which we are going to do the marking process. So uh, just drag and drop this inside my timeline and this is a layer based. So this is again a layer based kind of a compositing inside the edit page. So the topest layer will be visible in the first hand. It's not like a node based. So we'll be keeping this layer in the top. And we have our background. So this is my background. If I double click, you can see the background over here. And let's drag it over here and click this and come to the end and press E to the extend edit. So uh, you, you can see the top and bottom has not been filled. So you can go to the inspector and go to the video and just zoom a little bit. Okay, so now your image is completely filled. You can see the in inspector has been completely redesigned uh, for DaVinci Resolve 17. So we'll get back to that later. I'm going to the effects library and you can see uh, there is a lot of effects uh, newly added inside the DaVinci Resolve 17, including the transitions, uh, titles. You can see the nice icons and previews where you can have a look, click on the uh, just scrub over the whatever titles or effects you can see a simple uh, display which is coming inside our uh, timeline viewer and you can go to the generators and there are a lot of generators which has been added and you can go to the effects so uh, there are a lot of effects also has been added inside the DaVinci Resolve and you can just hover over your mouse and see what is what uh, like a normal thing and what we are looking here is going to open effects and just go down and you can see resolve effects and key. So this is where uh, the open effects filter is available. So uh, beforehand it was available only uh, as, a, as a 3D key here which was available in the color page but we have inside the edit page right now. So you can just drag this and put it over in the clip which you need to remove the green thing and let me go to the inspector and you can find uh, there is a lot of video audio and transitions image and files which will go to the metadata eventually so we have a tab called effects over here so when you click that effect you can see the 3d keyer has been enabled which you dragged and drop here and you can see a small icon over here where, where it is visible that you have added some kind of ofx filter to that particular shot so 3D keyer is similar to the color page. So I'm just dragging this and make sure your selected tool over here is open effects. And if you want, you can close the effects library. So you get the room for seeing your clip and yeah. So I'm just coming over here and just drawing a line to select a range of green layer. And now just like that, we have selected the green layer, but the next point is to see if that keying is properly keyed or not. So this is a 3D keyer which is available in our color page, I would say. So it's the same thing, but uh, let's see what are all things this particular 3D keyer can do inside the edit page of Resolve. So, so let me go inside this output over here, which is seen as alpha highlight. You can see a basic highlight of what has been selected and what has been removed and also you can go with the black and white selection where you can have a clear picture of what you are doing so you have the white area which has been selected and black areas you can see a little bit of darker amounts you can also go with the full screen and see uh, the white areas and it has a little bit of whites in the blacks as well so to remove that 
you can go to the matte finesse over here and you can you can uh, clean black it is becoming completely black and you can you can see there are uh, some dots uh, black areas in the whites so we can also remove those things by just going and cleaning the white areas so now uh, a bit you can see our keying is good and you can come to the output over here and select final composite and uh, if you put it in the full screen and see there is a little bit of green in the outer layer it is simple inside resolve to remove those green uh, kind of tinted layers so let's see how to do that so I'm just selecting uh, we have the clip over here and you have an option here over called D spill so this D spill will instantly instantly remove the green layer out of the box so I'm just going to select this D spill and you can see the green has been completely removed so I'll redo this this is before you're having the green spill over here and here and here I'm just going to select this D spill and you are completely gone and you can put it in the full screen and play it back you can see there is no spill around the image so I think this is more fast and efficient way and you can see the playback as well and uh, you you got the same kind of uh, feature which you used to get in the color page you can go to the color page and you have both the shots here you can grade uh, grade the shot according to your background or foreground all those stuffs you can do so that is all about today so just uh, you can also do from working inside the edit or similarly in the cut page of DaVinci Resolve 17 and be safe guys thank you uh, we'll meet you on another video